This video is to just help to explain to you how to create a resource folio or a um, resource file cabinet, however you want to call it, um, in TaskStream. So once you have your TaskStream account and you log into TaskStream, you'll see your capstone portfolio here on the front page. But we're going to go to Folios and Web Pages. So I want you to click there. And then you are going to actually title your web page, um, actually your folio. It's not really a web page, but a resource folio. Um, and so you can title it however you want to. Um, I think I'll just do ECE Resource File Cabinet. And then um, you're just going to create new. You're going to use the general purpose templates. And you're going to go to down here under resource folios. You're going to do not use a template, create from scratch. And then continue. And so here we are, we're getting ready to create our resource file cabinet. And what you're going to do is you click on that resource file cabinet and then you're going to create, you're going to add an area. So you're going to click on add an area and then you're going to create a folder for every one of your education classes. So even the ones that you have taken or the ones you're going to even take in the future. So the first one I would do is EDU, let's say 144 and that would be child development one. Okay, so there it is, the file the file folder for that. Then you go back up and make sure you click back up to the EC resource file cabinet or whatever you've titled this um, resource file or e-folio. And then you're going to add another area. And let's put EDU 145 child development two. Go back up, add an area, and that's becoming oh, a professional. And you continue this process until you have all of your education classes. And so you'll have a file cabinet for each, I mean a file folder for each one of your education classes. Okay, so that, I'm just, now, I don't know about you, but I get a little um, particular about how all of this is set up. And so I like all of my numbers in numerical order. So what you're going to do is you can move these. So you can click on where EDU 131 needs to be up here at the top. And so you're going to say move area. And we're going to paste it here. Oops, that's not right. Cancel that. So click there. Move area. Let's do EDU 144. We're going to paste it there. And it's going to ask me if I want to paste it above so I'm going to place it above, below, or within. And I don't want to put it within, and it's already below. So I want to place it above, and then that puts it in numerical order for me. Now, um, when you get ready, okay, it's wanting to save it for me. Spinning. Um, when you want to go ahead and actually submit something into one of these folders, or you may want to go ahead and add more folders Okay, so this is not, there we go. So I'm going to add a folder within EDU 131. So I'm going to add an area inside of that folder. And I'm going to put our traveling suitcase. So now I have a folder inside of the 131 folder. And then I probably want to add another area. And let's put our resource file. Okay, then maybe add another area since EDU 131 has so many wonderful projects in it. And we're going to put the journal entries. 
So that way, instead of having just a long line of everything under EDU 131, you've created folders for each one of the projects. And again, you can continue to add those as needed. Now let's say I want to add my journal entries into this file folder. Then um, you click on journal entries, and you go down to attachments, and you would upload from your computer, and then you will find it and upload, add the file just like you would in Moodle. So I'm not going to do that because I don't really have anything in there right now. And to get back to my file folder, I'll have to find my resource folio. There we go. And here they are. Now let's say you've got these all completed and you need to show that you have these completed like for an assignment um, for instance in any one of your classes that we might say um, to, to upload something into your actual file cabinet or your ECE resource folio whatever it's called um, we say please upload that into task stream and then you need to show us how that you've done that then once you've got it in there you can go and publish share and so then you will publish this and you're going to require a password. The best thing is to always require a password so that nobody else can just find it and see all your stuff. So I'm just going to put edu and publish. Oop, at least four characters, so that's not going to work. And then because you're going to have to share that with us, then what you're going to do is copy, whoops, copy and paste this address and this password. So copy it and then go to your assignment, wherever it is, and then just paste it into the assignment so that we can see your web address for your um, resource folio or file cabinet and your password so that we can access it and give you a grade for that. Okay, hope that helps you and that it will be helpful that you will be able to know now how to create your resource file cabinet. Thank you and have a great time creating.